hello and welcome to my channel intuitive and visions 1111 thank you guys so much for liking subscribing commenting and sharing i really appreciate it welcome to the new subscribers as well thanks for all the ones that's been here since i started which was just a little over five months ago <laughs> okay <laughs> hasn't been a long time but um really excited and thankful for all of you Okay, so this topic today is going to be um, what is Divine Masculine being honest about when it comes to Divine Feminine in this connection? Okay, so since this is a general reading, um, it's not going to resonate with everyone. I do offer personal readings. That information is below and the link to my site is there as well. Uh, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a divine feminine and you can be a male. And I also use terms like he, she, you know, that person or you. Uh, that could be you I'm talking about or the person you're thinking about. And then in certain situations, it could involve a third party. Okay. A third party situation. And that could be career or an actual person, family member or friend. All right. So with that being said, I think that's pretty much uh, everything um, except for, yeah, if you're interested in a personal reading, that information is below. And the link to my site, intuitiveenvisions.com, is there as well. Also, if you've booked with me recently and you haven't heard back from me, it's because I haven't gotten a response from you through email. So um, please uh, check your email on your PayPal account or check your spam folder to see if the email went in there. Um, also, you can contact me on the site where it says contact us or about us or something, but it says contact and uh, you can reach me there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with this reading. I'm just finished sh shuffling these cards, trying to make things uh, a little bit faster. All right. So I already shuffled these two. So we're going to go ahead and this will be the subject around what um, divine masculine is being honest about when it comes to this connection with the divine feminine today commitment okay so right off the bat he is wanting a commitment he is looking he's in the energy of commitment towards the divine feminine that he's being honest with himself that this is something that he wants okay and I shuffle these already so I'm gonna pull this first one off anger um, Safely express your anger, use anger as a positive for force, honor all of your, um, sorry, what is this? Oh, emotions as sacred. Okay. So this could be energy of passion. He could also be actually angry. He might feel some jealousy or something towards divine feminine, or it could be towards someone else that are, or a situation that could be stopping him from this, uh, connection. Um, I'll get more um as the cards come out and might clarify that further but that's it could be that receive be open to receiving uh goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon okay also these are the oracle of the unicorn cards um i don't think i said at the beginning those first cards with the subject that's the mystic moon um, oracles twin flame so he's being honest that i'm feeling like two things that he's needing to either um, give a gift to divine feminine in some way of you know form to maybe break the ice or he is realizing that the divine feminine is a gift to him Okay, and that he is um, deserving of it. Um, this divine masculine may not feel he's been deserving of it. He could that could be also the reason why he's in that mode of anger. Okay, I guess that one to come out. This also did come out on my um, Instagram account today for the general energy. This is awareness. Live in the moment. Um, be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Okay, so. He's in this energy um, that I'm picking up on that he's trying to see if he's getting some type of sign or assistance um, from the divine feminine and not only from the divine feminine, but his uh, spirit guides or the universe. He's very aware in this connection. So 
I'm really sensing that he is looking for some type of green light uh, per se from the Divine Feminine and uh, Universe as to, you know, where to go in this um, connection. And just a quick note, I do like to say that I like using the cards I use with the Instagram account. Um, I just started that a few weeks ago. So if you want to join me there, it's um, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Um, a lot of times I do the cards before I do the readings and the same cards will pop up. So um, it's pretty um, amazing. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and get the uh, uh, Romance Angels. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So he's keeping um, an open mind that, you know, his uh, soulmate or twin flame to divine feminine may be different from what he's used to. He may have to deal with her differently. Um, it could be the reason why he might have anger because he's used to, you know, maybe having things his way and he's needing to have an open mind he might be frustrated you know because anger can be frustration as well these cards are really hanging on so i'm sensing the ones that want to come out will come out wedding this situation involves marriage okay so he's being honest that he wants a committed relationship you do have here commitment right there at the very beginning here and um the energy that he's being honest about he wants this relationship to be serious a serious um a commitment and possibly for some of you actually um you know a, a wedding like he wants to uh, marry marry you take this relationship to the next level Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost uh, selves to each other, uh, your bond deepens. So he's being honest that he wants to get to know Divine Feminine better. Um, so there's probably been some, um, you know, a long distance time between the two of you. And he's wanting to get to know each other, sit down and just, you know, learn different things about each other, uh, about this relationship to see if this can be, you know, something that he can um, be committed to long term. So with all these cards so far, I'm sensing that this anger is most likely a passion kind of uh, energy. Um, I don't really see a lot of other um, cards here to support the anger um, issue. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, squeeze this up a little bit. Okay. Let's get some more um, from the uh, Mystic Moon Oracles. He's being honest. The answer is yes. <laughs> so yes, I guess this is about passion because you do see the red here. And uh, keeping an open mind. Yes, he's he knows he needs to keep an uh, open mind that this may be... Um, the Divine Feminine may be different from what he's used to dealing with, but he needs to um, adjust, you know, open his mind to the differences. Okay. Solitude. Okay, this is an energy... Of being alone so he's being honest I think that he um, has been feeling lonely uh, isolated um, without the divine feminine and possibly for some I'm picking up here if someone is involved in a marriage in this um, uh, divine masculine in this situation he could be feeling uh, lonely in an actual uh, marriage that he's in since it does say the situation involves marriage, that might be just for a few of you. Healing. So he's being honest that not only does he need to heal, but he needs to heal this connection because it's right under getting to know each other. 
as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So he knows that he he needs to heal this connection. All of his chakras might be being activated at this time. It is also under awareness. So, you know, this divine masculine may be um, awakening uh, slowly to this uh, connection. Now I'm going to get a few more cards here. And then uh, this is a universal weight tarot. He's being honest that um, he's felt a temporary hardship. This is the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold and um, enduring, you know, uh, uh, temporary suffering, basically. So he's been feeling left out in the cold in this connection. And it possibly it could be flipped. He could be honest that he did leave the Divine Feminine out in the cold. Three of Wands. He is being honest that he wants to, um, this is movement forward. And this could also be waiting because both here you have this person, um, uh, the back is turned and they're looking towards this on this receive and gift. So I'm really feeling like this has to do with um, moving forward. Um, this is what he wants to do. And with this three in this wedding, I do feel for some of you, this involves a third party situation, um, possibly involving a very, a commitment or uh, a wedding. So um, he is uh, possibly too, for those of you might be waiting for, you know, to get out of this, to become single, cause this is solitude. So it's kind of like a, um, you know, an isolated uh, energy wanting to uh, be alone or feeling alone um, in here. So I'm feeling that um, he's wanting to move forward with um, something better in this because there's commitment here. Yeah. So I am, yeah, I'm picking up that the divine masculine is wanting to move forward. He wants to be in a committed relationship with the divine feminine, but some of them might be actually involved in uh, a marriage. And he's being honest that uh, uh, this is the eight of swords that he's trapped, feeling trapped. He's trapped and feared. He's scared. And um, I feel like he's scared to come uh, approach divine feminine. Um, he also could be um, at the moment for this divine masculine with these cards present could be trapped in a situation that he's trying to get out of. And that's what's causing the hardship um, and preventing him to move forward right now at this time. But this is what he wants. But yeah, he's being honest that he's um, trapped in fear and possibly trapped in fear um, from, you know, now that he's aware of this connection um, and looking for signs in, uh, in this connection, maybe receiving the signs from spirit that he knows that he has to make approach. He needs to heal this connection and uh, come forward all right so uh, on the bottom of here i got this too um he knows that he needs to surrender um to this connection okay so and then also here partnership he's being honest that um teamwork will give you a better result find trustworthy people to partner with build up a talented support Team. So he's being honest that he wants to be in a, a relationship, a partnership, you know, something they can, uh, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine can build on. And then he's being honest about trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith that he trusts the Divine Feminine, or he could also maybe possibly have trust issues um, in general. And he's trying to work on that. Okay. And then we have the Nine of uh, Wands. So he can be honest that he's been guarded and um, a very protective um, in this energy towards divine feminine and possibly needing to let this guard uh, come down. All right, so I'm gonna get a few messages from uh, divine masculine to divine feminine at this time about what he's being honest about. These are the twin flame messages from Mystic Moon.
I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So he knows that he did the divine uh, feminine wrong and he's feeling a lot of sorrow, a lot of regret. You, your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. So that could be that intense uh, anger there, that passion that he feels for you, like frustrated and passion at the same time because he wants to control his feelings towards the divine feminine, but he cannot. Is it possible to forgive and forget? So see, this divine masculine is wanting to apologize. He's wanting to um, get to know um, each other again. He's wanting to heal this connection. And then he's being honest that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So this is confirming that this is a third party situation. So, um, you know, if this didn't resonate with you, this, if you weren't in a third party situation, it most likely wouldn't have resonated with you. But he's saying the grass wasn't green on the other side, which means he tried it with someone else or stayed with a partner or someone in a committed relationship or marriage. And it just did not work out. It just made him. I uh, see the divine feminine for uh, who she really was even more. Okay. So I hope that resonated with you guys. And if it did, please like comment or share. Um, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. That information is below we'll link to my site as well. And my social account. And if you want to support the channel, that information is there too. Okay. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.